I'm just Ken, and you were well side B or Ken. Mommy, what's that? It's like charades, honey. You just have to act out your word very quickly, and I have to guess. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh, a, a dog. <sighs> Understand how to play? Yeah. I got a word now. What am I riding? Um, a bike? No, not a bike. You use your feet. A motorcycle? No, honey, please hurry or something bad is going to happen to Mommy. I don't know. I don't I know. I bought this for you for your birthday. Um, a scooter? Yes. Oh, I'm safe. I don't like this game. A camera? No, and the time's up. <gasps> no, I'm so sorry. I couldn't guess it in time. Sissy, I got a word. Rar. Okay, um, a lion? No. <laughs> a tiger? A bear? No, no, not that. Come on, Susie, you only have ten seconds left. Rar. A cheetah? A leopard? A... Just tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Yay, you got it right. I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Officer? Hello, ma'am. We're looking for a girl named Susie. We believe your daughter cheated. Tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Susie, did you cheat? No, my sister guessed the right answer. Uh-huh. Well, the report could have been a glitch. Remember, cheating has consequences. We know. Have a nice day. What was that about? Look, Mom, let's just say that Susie is not good at this game. We need to sign her up for acting classes or something. Honey, don't tell me you actually cheated. I wasn't gonna let her die. Huh? Let who die? No one. Nothing, Susie. We're just talking, sweetheart. You are lucky you got off the hook this time. Mom? No, this is ridiculous. Mom, I have a word. Okay, go ahead. You're holding your breath. You're swimming. You're... you're a shark? No. Uh... The Water Olympics? No, Mom, come on. Let me guess, let me guess. Um, um, scuba diver. Yes. <sighs> that was a close one. Uh oh, I got a word. Come on, Susie, you got this. Ooh, I learned about this in school. Okay, honey, act it out. It looks like she's swimming. Um, a duck? No, not that. A swan? Nope. Grr. Um, what is it? I don't know. Okay, Mom, I don't know. Just help her. Splash. We have to cheat again. No, don't. Mom, Susie, what is your word? My word is. Susie? She's alive. That was scary. I really thought we lost her. This doesn't make any sense. Every time someone gets a word wrong, an armed drone comes down and shoots them. I know, honey, but the drone missed. No, but the drones never miss. The creator of the game programmed them to have perfect accuracy. There's something you need to know. Your father is the creator of this game. What? It's the reason I divorced him. You mean to tell me that our father is the reason for this game existing? Yes. I'm going to act it out headquarters, and I'm getting Dad to shut down this game. No, it's too dangerous. He didn't kill Susie, which means he still cares about us. I have to try. Hey, you're not allowed to be in yet. My father is Darren White, the creator of this game, and I want to speak to him. Oh, really? You got some ID on you? Oh. Now let me see my father. I see your mom finally told you about me. You've got a lot of explaining to do. You got a word, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll guess it for you. Act it out. No. What? Me and everyone else are done playing this game. Sweetheart, you're gonna run out of time. End the game. Just act it out, I can't. No, if you really love me, you're gonna end it right now. I've put too much work into this game to stop it now. Then I guess you're only gonna have one daughter. No, honey. Oh my god, what have I done? Dad. Shut the game down. But sir, I said shut it down. <laughs> the game is offline. Good, I gotta get her to a hospital. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I can't believe this happened. I did it for all of us. So daddy's gone? Yeah, the doctor said once he found out she was okay, he took off. All that matters is that this horrible game is over. Yeah. Sissy needs to rest now. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks, Mom. Who do you think you're gonna get? I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son, because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny son. <laughs> Your soulmate is a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. Anyways, I have to go now. Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet you he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I, uh, think your father wants to speak with you. He does? Mm-hmm. He's in his office. Hey. Santa, your daughter is here. Ho, ho. There you are, Holly. Hey, Dad. Did you find out who your soulmate is? Uh, nope. Holly, you know lying will get you on the naughty list. All right, just don't get mad. My soulmate is... Santa, all of our toy machines have been frozen solid. No worries, I'm on it. 
Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. My name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow, pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh yeah, things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Ho, ho, there she is. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. We wanted to tell you the toy machine is fixed. Oh, good. But we need to know... Who your soulmate is. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not feeling so well. I think I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Oh, no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get canceled. What am I gonna do? <gasps> Holly. Jared? Do not move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. Well, that's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. The hole is closing up. All right, you should be good to cross now. Just give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you, I promise. Let me see your hand. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice and easy now. Whoa, hey, you all right? Yeah, thank you. You know, I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad, he thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah, it's because I'm not really all that great at using my powers. Well, you seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Well, thanks. Want to see something cool? Uh, okay. Whoa, it's... it's beautiful. You really are. I mean, it's beautiful, but you... you are too. Jared, what are you doing? Dad! Son, get over here right now. We were just talking, Jack. That's Mr. Frost to you. And I know flirting when I see it. Ow! Dad, let go! No son of mine is going to date a Kringle. Stop it. That isn't fair. Get out of here, kid, before I turn you into an ice sculpture. It's okay, Holly. Just go. You're never going to see her again. Mom, Dad, there you guys are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You are on the naughty list. Listen, I can explain. It's because... I haven't been very truthful about who my soulmate is. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. <gasps> what? No, it can't be. But wait, listen, he's actually really nice, and he needs my help. Ho, <laughs> ho, nice? Don't you remember what his father did to you last year? No, but Jared is different. Tunny, his family cannot be trusted, and you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. I have to help Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Hey, I can help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Well, I can actually use your help. Awesome, because I already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story. Plus, I totally ship you guys. Aw, thanks. Well, what's your plan? Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which is already done. But they never take afternoon naps. Uh, let's just say I gave them some special milk. Winky! It was the only way. Now, follow me. This is the house. Now, I'll distract Jack while you go look for Jared. Okay. Why is it so hot in here? Holly, is that you? Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, the heat. It makes me weak. Come on, we gotta get you outside. It's no use. I can't get up. Just go. No, I'm not leaving you here. Okay, Jared, I hope you've learned your... What do you think you're doing? Holly, run! And where do you think you're going? You can't escape from me. Jack, please. I told you to stay away from my son. Now you're going to pay the price. Just a few more minutes and you'll be frozen forever. Hey, get away from her. Don't worry, I'm going to stop him. Your powers are no match for mine. We'll see about that. <laughs> And you said I was no good at using my powers. You're too late, Jared. Holly! Oh, my poor baby. Jared, we can't thank you enough for saving her. And we're pleased to announce you both are off the naughty list. Really? Yes, and you have our blessing to be together. Thank you. I promise. I will always look after her. Are you getting kind of hot now? Yeah, a little. I think I can help with that. Miss Cindy White? Yes, that's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up. It's a secret. 
do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look. It's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? <laughs> oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. Want to come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet. I'll airdrop you the address. Okay. Sid, we're playing truth or dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay. We dare you to kiss Peter. Whoa! <laughs> it's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. <gasps> She's so dumb. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! hey. Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute and way nicer than Rebecca. And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're going to go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's better than everyone. Hey, Siri. Who's the most popular girl in Castle High? You. But not for long. Who's the second most popular? Sydney. White. What? Yo, just one more kiss. She did it. I made it to 80%? Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, <laughs> I know. I... Somebody's got a crush. Oh. Oh. Jason, shut up. Not you all exposing Peter. <laughs> hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. Sid, you better watch your back. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular. And if you come for her title... Girl, she's gonna come for you. Sydney, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter. Hi, I wanted to ask you if you, um, if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure, I'd love to. Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um... Go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. <laughs> no way. You're the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you... And the winner for prom queen goes to... Miss Sydney White. Yo, Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney! First she becomes more popular than me and now she's prom queen? It's time for plan B. I need your help. You remember how Sydney's allergic to apples? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Smile, Congrats, Sydney. She looks so pretty. Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I I lied, okay? What? Why would you- Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You can meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh! Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to- I know. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm gonna go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. 
Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. But... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for no me? No, me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh, shit. Coffee oh, mushrooms. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look... <laughs> There's my autograph! No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, 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 she just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But... I don't even know what his name is, or where he lives. Uh-huh, sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh no, he did it. Mate. Oh no, he did it. I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. Oh, he is so dead. Honey. Mom. Oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate... Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom... Uh-uh. Get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna... May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but... There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to... Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and... Lion tamer. Lion tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom... There you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. <laughs> Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. <sighs> please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay. Here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats. You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zack Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Oh! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! 
I just won 500k. You know, joke is on you guys because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. You choose between a pen or a teddy bear. I think I'm going to choose the pen, because I heard that it... No. Pick the teddy bear. That pen is dangerous, and you're not allowed to have it. Do you understand? Of course, stepmother. She never lets me do anything I want. I'm not wasting this opportunity. Legend says that whatever you draw with this pen will come to life. I can draw a teddy bear, so when stepmother comes back, she won't get suspicious. I can't believe it worked. So, did you pick the bear? Mm -hmm. See? Oh, yes, I see. Well, that's a good girl. All right, well, I'll be back to check on you later. Wait, but today's my 18th birthday, and you promised that I could leave the palace after I turned 18. Did I say that? It's still too dangerous. Maybe next year. I knew she would never let me go outside. But at least now, I can draw myself a little companion. I've always wanted a puppy. Oh, she's perfect. <laughs> Brielle, open this door. Don't you ever block that do What was that? You hiding something? What's this? No, wait! What is a puppy doing in your room? Um... I gave it to her, your majesty. I, uh, I bought it as a birthday gift for her. Is that so? Yes, I hope you don't mind. Well, I don't allow pets in my palace. Let me see her. No, wait. Um, if you let me keep the puppy, I promise I won't ever ask to go outside again. Hmm. Do you really promise? I promise. All right, then. You can keep the little beast. Oh, you must be hungry. Don't worry. I'm going to draw you some food. I'm glad you liked your food. I also drew you a little toy. Hey, congrats on keeping the puppy. Thanks for covering for me. Of course. As your royal guard, it's my job to protect you. Even if it's from your own stepmother. So where did the puppy come oh, from? Oh, that's, um, that's kind of a secret. Uh-huh. Well, I'll leave you alone. Wait, if you could just let me out of here for just a few minutes... Princess, you know I can't do that. If the queen caught you outside, she'd... I would be really quick. No, I'm sorry. I have orders. I, I can't. You have to stand here. This isn't fair. You know what? I bet if I use this magic pen to draw myself outside, I could escape stepmother forever. I knew it. Give me that pen. You give me that magic pen. No, you are so controlling. I am done listening to you. Too bad this pen only works for no. you. <laughs> Let me show you how controlling I can be. You won't ever leave this tower. And this puppy is going away. Take this mutt to the pound. Please don't. I'll do anything. <laughs> really? Draw me young and beautiful, or else your puppy goes away forever. How's this? My wrinkles are gone. Draw me a crown. When you're done, draw me some more horses and a carriage. Let me see. Good. Now draw me more gold. But I just drew you that, and it's been two hours. But it's been two hours. Does it look like I care? Finally, I have two castles. All right, I guess it's time for a break. Give me that pen. Gregory, can I trust you to keep an eye on her? Yes, Your Majesty. Good, because if you lie to me one more time, I'll have you taken care of. Riel, wake up. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Setting you free. I took this from her. Draw her locked away, and yourself as the queen. Open this door! Hurry! I'm trying! I drew it. She's... she's gone. We're finally free from the evil queen. Wait, but I'm missing one more thing. Well, now you're queen and you've got your puppy, I think it's time for you to finally leave your tower and go outside. Let's see how many brain cells you get, princess. Oh my. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Two identical twins will never have the same fingerprint. You're five. How do you know that? Well, my queen, she... She what? How is she so smart? That's because I have more brain cells than the average human. She has more brain cells than me. This can't be. Your body language and tone of voice indicates that you're coming up with an evil plan. Stepdaughter, don't be silly. <laughs> For the last time, it's not poisoned. Well, your body language does show that you're not lying, so... Okay, stepmother, I'll try some. 
Yes, my potion worked. I said it wouldn't poison you, but I never said anything about it making you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I go party now. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, oh, my new shoes. That's it, princess. Just have your special drink. <laughs> Princess, hey, I'm uh, I'm Prince Derek, and I was wondering if you'd want to go on a date with me. I know you don't have a lot of brain cells, but... Ow. Hey, are you good? Help. What's going on? My brain, it's... The potion is wearing off. Excuse us, Prince Derek, it's the princess's nap time. Hurry up and drink the potion. <clears throat> I mean, drink your drink. There you go, it's going to make you feel so much better. Yes, she's back to being dumb. <laughs> sleep, sleep, dream, dream, eat, eat, barf. Your Majesty, the people of the kingdom are concerned about the princess. Oh, really? They think she's unfit to be queen with such little brain cells. Well, I must say I agree. Potato. She could never be queen. <laughs> Dingly dangly. How could she have lost almost all her brain cells? Life is full of mysteries. Now follow me. We have important business to attend to. Princess. Oh, I know I'm kind of breaking in, but don't be scared. Huh? I climbed all the way up here because I want to help you. No one deserves to have such little brain cells. Earlier, it seemed like you were trying to tell me something. Handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, please stop. That tickles. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to try and find you a potion that can make you smarter. Okay, so I'm going to climb back down your tower now. And he was a fairy. Wait, what? No, no, no! Uh, uh, uh. Oh. I think I just pushed Prince Derek out the window. <gasps> Prince Derek? He's alive! He landed on a giant pile of pillows, but what are a giant pile of pillows doing outside my castle? Your Majesty, the hundred thousand pillows you ordered have arrived. Excellent. Figures. Uh, what happened? Oh, he's waking up. I am so sorry. Listen, I'm gonna think of a way to save you. I just need more of my brain cells to come back. Come on, think. I think I have an idea. Come on. Oh, almost there. Oh, I'm up. Nice thinking using the sheets. Are you okay? Yeah, I'd say I'm doing pretty good for someone who just got pushed out of tower. <laughs> Listen, I am so sorry. This is what I was trying to tell you. The queen, she's been giving me a potion that's been taking away my brain cells. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just realized you're talking normal now. Has she been doing this to you for years? There he is. He's in here, guards. Take him away. Ugh. He is the prince from the rival kingdom, and he was trying to poison the princess. No, stop. Wait, the queen is lying. Don't listen to the princess. Remember, she only has ten brain no. cells. No, I'm smart now. My brain cells are coming back. I... Silence. That's enough. Take this. You're going to drink that potion right now, or I will have the prince killed. Drink it, or the prince dies. Good girl. Wait a minute, you little fake. Drink it for real. I can see your brain cells. <laughs> That's better. After all these years, the potion is starting to lose its power. It's wearing off much too quickly, and we can't have that happening, so I'm going to have to, um, get rid of you. Me go bye-bye? Yes, I can't have you becoming queen. No, no, don't cry. Here, take this. Ah. Can't have you alerting the gods now. Soft, soft. You're going to be an easy kill. Come here. Don't leave this room. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to think of a way to make the prince and your death look like an accident. Hello. Me? See cute, cute prince? Princess, you're not supposed to be down here. And the prince isn't allowed any visitors, but... But go ahead. Just be real quick, because the queen doesn't want you seeing him in the dungeon. Sublime. Uh, you're welcome. The queen wants me dead, 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 and she's gonna have your head. Uh, princess! No, she gave you the potion. Hey, princey, look. Dingly, dingly. The key! Where did you get that? Me see big guard sleeping, and shiny thing, so me take you. <laughs> okay, well hurry, unlock my cell door and then... Sorry. Use shiny thing to free prince. Oh! <laughs> Good, now throw me the key so I can unlock these chains. KK. Hey, you two aren't allowed to be... <sighs> Sorry, what was that? Couldn't quite hear you. Muscular Riz. Me likey. Come on, we have to get to... <sighs> Princess! Brain cells, all of them, coming back fast. Hey, you got this. The faster your brain cells come back, the faster you can outsmart the queen, alright? Oh, no! Outsmart me? I don't think so. Stop! You can't do this! It's against- I don't understand. I'm the princess. You're not supposed to be doing this. Why are you guys listening to her? They're under an obedience spell, dear. They'll do whatever I say. Surprised you didn't figure that out with all those brain cells of yours. Here. Drink this, and this time, it's not a potion. 
And this time, it's not a potion. You poison this? So what makes you think that I'm going to drink it? I'm willing to trade you, your life, <sighs> for his. You made me dumb my whole life, you know that? Years of my life that I will never get back. Oh, please, you were on cloud nine. You know what they say, ignorance is bliss. I was doing you a favor. But to show you that I mean business... <sighs> no, Derek. You know how you can save him, dear. You are a monster. People do crazy things. To remain in power. So what do you say? Deal. No. That a girl. Just one sip is all it will take. <laughs> oh, this is so sad to watch. Now open up your cup so I can see. I only put a little bit in there, so let me see the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I finally outsmarted you. <sighs> Uh, what the heck is going on? The queen had you under a spell. She was abusing her power. Please, set us free. <sighs> the prince has lost a lot of blood, but the medic might not get you in time. I could save him if I just had a few more brain cells. Come on, please. I know how to save him. Guards, I need the royal medical kit and gloves right now. Yes, princess, as, as you, you wish. wish. Derek, hey, I'm gonna need to give you some stitches, okay? So, please, just close your eyes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass out instead. Or that works too. Okay, it's done. The medic will take him from here. You did great. I hope so. Good news, princess. Prince Derek is recovering. He's going to be all right. But his father from the rival kingdom is here, and he wants to speak with you. Send him in. Hello, your majesty. You, your stepmother, kidnapped my son. And you, you saved his life. And for that, I am forever grateful. Oh, well, it was the least I could do. Oh, don't be so humble. I see you're going to become queen soon. Wouldn't you want a king to be by your side? <laughs> Just make sure to keep my son in mind. You two could have some very smart children. Uh, excuse me, princess. The prince requested to see you. Uh, oh, hey. Well, if it isn't the smartest girl I know. Look, I wanted to say thank you for saving my life. I had no idea you had so many brain cells. Part of me kind of misses you being dumb. Excuse me? Wait, I didn't mean it like that. It's just you said some funny things, like me having muscular riz. Stop. <laughs> I mean, I must say, you do have some pretty big muscles. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's worth the pain. You know, your father was saying he thinks that we should get married. Really? Well, you're the smart one. What do you think? I think it sounds like a pretty good idea. As long as you're comfortable with it, you know, um, I'm not trying to rush things. It's just... Whoa, hey. I'll tell you what, as soon as I'm able to, I'll be down on one knee for you. I'm so nervous for who my soulmate is going to be. Don't be. You're Santa's daughter. I'm sure you'll get someone just as jolly as you are. I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son because he's super cute. <gasps> who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny's son. Your soulmate's a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. I have to go now. Bye! Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I think your father wants to speak with you. He's in his office. Okay. Santa, your daughter's here to see you. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hi, Dad. So, have you found out who your soulmate is the son of? Nope. Hmm. Is that so? Emergency! Emergency! All the toy machines have been frozen! <laughs> Sounds like the work of Jack Frost. I'll be right back, Holly. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. Name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow. Pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Hey, I told you to stop following me. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No. Have you? Nope. And I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Jared! Santa's looking for you. Ho, oh, oh. ho. There she is. We thought we heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. <laughs> Holly, we wanted to tell you the toy machines are fixed. Great. But now we need to know. Who your soulmate is the son of. Please tell me it's father time. I'm actually not feeling so well. I think I need fresh air. Oh no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? Holly? Jared? Don't move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. 
That's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. You should be good to cross now. Give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you. I promise. Let me see your hand. Okay. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice. <gasps> Whoa. Hey. You all right? Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad. He thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah. It's because I haven't mastered my powers yet. You seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Thanks. Want to see something cool? Sure. It's okay. Try again. Oh, Jared, it's beautiful. You really are. <clears throat> I mean, it's beautiful, but you are too. What are you doing? Dad? We were just talking, Jack. It's Mr. Frost to you, and I know flirting when I see it. No son of mine will be with a Kringle. Stop! That isn't fair. Ow! Dad, let go! No, son. We're leaving. And he's never going to see you again. It's okay, Holly. Just go! Mom, Dad, why are you guys looking at me like that? Because, for the first time in 18 years... You, Holly, are on the naughty list. Okay, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who I got as a soulmate. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. What? <gasps> what? His whole family is cold-hearted. But Jared is different. Ho, ho. Frosts are nothing but bad news. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. That's right. You heard your mother. Go to your room. I have to save Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Holly, I could help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Actually, I could use your help. Sweet, because I've already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. You have? I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story, plus <laughs> I totally ship you guys. Winky. Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which has already been completed. But they never take afternoon naps. Well, let's just say I gave them some special milk and cookies. <gasps> Winky. Sorry, it was the only way, but come with me. I think Jared's in danger. This is the house, and I overheard Jack telling Jared he's going to lock him in the basement. Okay, you distract Jack, and I'll go save Jared. Deal. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot, but I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Coffee oh, mushrooms. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh, no, he did it. Mate. Oh, no, he did it. I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. <gasps> oh, he is so dead. Honey, mom, oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate. Shh, enough chit chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom, uh uh, get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna. May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. 
Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but... There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to... Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and... Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom... There you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay, here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zach Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Whoa! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish, I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. Happy birthday! Ready to find out your sweetheart? What's a sweetheart? It's your soulmate. It's who you're gonna love forever. <gasps> Prince Licorice? What's wrong? Nothing, Lolly. We'll handle everything. Don't worry. Please, can I meet him? No, Lord Licorice is a very evil man, and I'm sure his son is no better. Exactly. But he's my sweetheart. Nope. The system must have made a mistake. Well, hello, my dear. Who are you? You don't know who I am? You really don't get out much, do you? My parents never let me leave the castle. I see. Well, I'm actually a friend of your father's, and I've brought you a gift. Is this taffy? Why, yes. This is my favorite. Try it. Good, isn't it? What's the matter? Mm. Too sticky? Sorry, princess, but I can't have you alerting the guards. I'm going to bring you to meet my son. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that... King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty. But I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad. There, now you're free. Drink this. It'll dissolve the taffy. It'll take a few seconds to work. Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. 
It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Get it. I don't need you. I can handle myself. Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh. What is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> it's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Perfect. You should spend the night here. Okay. <laughs> the king is going to pay a lot of money to get you back. Here, have some more. Let her go. Prince Licorice, what are you doing here? I'm saving her from you. That's my sweetheart. Isn't he handsome? Hand her over or else... You think I'm handsome? How could I not think you're handsome? Just look at how big your muscles are. <laughs> how much cotton candy did you have? A lot. I'm sorry, Prince Licorice. I didn't realize she was your sweetheart. Please don't tell your father I did this. We won't have a problem as long as you let us leave. Let's go, Lolly. Bye. How you doing? Better. I didn't realize that the cotton candy made you loopy. Listen, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. You really didn't do anything wrong. Nah, you're good. I'm sorry, too. So you think I have big muscles, huh? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we should start walking back. There she is! Seize him! Arrest him, now! Get off of me! He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke! Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did. Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the cotton candy fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. You two need to make amends. Thanks for getting me released. Of course. It's the least I can do. I'm really happy our parents are getting along now. I'm so glad too. I need to ask you something. Lolly, will you make me the happiest man in Candyland and marry me? Yes. Everyone, we're engaged. Aw, oh, congrats, sweetheart. Just look at that ring. Congratulations. Lolly, I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate. Me either. Please, don't be anything crazy. I hope you didn't get a bad curse, honey. All right. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be I told you to clean this room, honey. I'm just a baby. Just because you're the youngest doesn't mean you don't have to clean. I did your baby. You and I, we're just not working out. I can buy myself flowers. I'm sorry. I get some to play What the hell are you doing? See, this is why I'm breaking up with you. Is that your report card, honey? Let me see. Hand it over. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I need to see it. Let me tell you something! Only talking in viral TikTok sounds was really annoying. Let's hope this new curse isn't as bad. Must do everything you're... Oh, come on. I can't believe how bad your report card was. I told you I was sorry. You're still grounded for two weeks. What? Come on. How is that even fair? That's enough. Not another word from you, young lady. Mm. Stop fooling mm. around and go to school. Why haven't you been talking at all? You've been super quiet. Mm, what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you just say something? Thank you so much. You are a literal lifesaver. That's such a cute squishmallow. You should just give it to me. 
Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, just let me keep it. Okay, you can keep it. Thank you, girly. I always wanted this one. Wait here. Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't move. Stay here. Um, Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't even move from this spot. Jillian? What are you doing? Move out of the way! Oh my gosh, thank you. So, you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. <laughs> give that back. Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. Slap yourself. <sighs> ah. Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? Blake, it said I had the option to give my curse to Jillian permanently. Are you? I don't know. The option just disappeared. She did try to have you hit by a train. Yeah, but... Look, I'm just saying, after that, if I were you, I'd give that curse to her in a heartbeat. Hey, Jillian. Aw, is that a new Squishmallow? Give it to me. You give that back right now. Hmm, no, I don't think I will. What is your problem with me? I know you tried to kill me on those train tracks. Maybe because I don't want you around anymore. Why? Because Blake was my boyfriend and he broke up with me because he likes you. I can't help who Blake likes and doesn't like and you should- Cover your mouth. I don't want to hear anything from you. Mm. Sorry, I can't understand. What did you just do? Give me back my Squishmallow. Now. No, why did I- I gave you my curse. Permanently. Wait, what? What can I say, Jillian? Karma. It's a real bit. Happy birthday, we got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 14. Hello, pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what? what No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco, giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, mom. I'm just a baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. 
Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really, I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils, and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. This week is important, kids. Because our scales appeared. Yes, since this is you and your brother's 18th birthday week, we'll finally get to find out how evil you two are. I already know. Mine's going straight to villain. Of course it is, darling. Your last name isn't Menace for nothing. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Mindy Menace, world's greatest supervillain. We got you suits. <gasps> yes, sweet. I know, but you can't wear them until your birthday. Huh? Why not? You're not a true villain until the scale says so. My suit better be flameproof. Yeah, and mine better handle ice. Mindy, Max, don't worry. They do. Can I get a cape? No, no, no case. Hey, how'd your scale go up? Oh, I took your credit card when you weren't looking. I hope you don't mind. I got a couple things. Oh, ow! Ha, huh, that's what you get. Whoa, chill. I've got a plan. And you're going to want to hear about it. I know a way we can move our scales a lot. I'm listening. See that bank? Yeah. Well, you and I are going to rob it. Oh, all right. Sounds good to me. And look what I got. Our suits, but mom and dad said we're not supposed to. Wear them to. until our birthdays. I know, but we gotta prove to them that we can be real villains. You know what? You're right. Wait, Max, what should our villain names be? Huh, how about I'm Frost and you're Blaze? Okay, not bad, Max. Let's do this. Everybody freaks. Do what he says or else you're gonna get barbecued. Fry the safe. On it. Money, here we come. Whoa, look at all that cash. Not so fast. Careful, he's a super. What's your name? I'm Witherstorm. <laughs> nice. Why do they call you that? Allow me to demonstrate. Looks like Weatherboy can control Mother Nature. Blaze, get him. With pleasure. I don't think so. Ah, <sighs> oh, crap. My powers don't work in this rain. He's all yours, Frost. Don't worry, Blaze. I got him. I suggest you both surrender now before the cops show up. Giving up's not our style. I can't believe we escaped with so much cash. I know, right? Max, how did your scale move? I did something. <laughs> what did you do? I'll show you. Follow me to the lair. Ta-da! You brought the superhero to our house? Yeah, I had my buddies bring him over, and when he wakes up, I'm gonna find out his secret identity. I'm gonna use Dad's gadgets to interrogate him. Max, Dad's gadgets are really dangerous. I don't know if you should use them on him. What? Of course they're dangerous. That's the whole point. Hey, your scale moved towards Hero. Oh, don't tell me you like him. You like him? I do not. Uh-uh. You think he's cute, don't you? No. As your twin, I can tell you're lying. Are you guys gonna argue this whole time? What the hell is this place? Your worst nightmare. Max. So, your real name's Max, huh? <sighs> what? That must be my new gadget. Be right back. Why can't I use my powers? Sorry, but that bracelet on your wrist, it's a power dampener. I need you to set me free. And why is that? There's a tornado headed towards my family's house, and I'm the only one with the powers to stop it. Yeah, right. You really think I'm that stupid? I'm serious. Come on. I can see good in you. Please, you have to release me. Where is he? He he escaped. Your scale. You let him free. I'm telling Mom and Dad. No, Max, wait. Stay there. Wait. Mom, Dad. 
Our lie detector arrived in the mail. Now tell us, did you set the hero free? No. Scanning. Lie detected. Mindy. I told you. Look, I'm sorry. It was only so he could protect his family. Plus, he promised he would owe me a favor in return. Mindy, that's enough. You are turning into a superhero. She sure has a crush on one. I do not. Listen very carefully. We don't date superheroes in this family. You're gonna get rid of him. Understand? Now remember, if you don't complete the mission, don't come home. I saw you from down the street. You're not here to cause any trouble, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. How do you know my real name? My parents did some digging on you. Enough talk. Ugh. You brought your brother with you? We're kind of a team. Stop! You're better than this! Shut up! My sister is a villain. Okay, Max, that's enough. Why aren't you fighting back? Because I... I don't want to hurt you. Huh, how pathetic. Finish him. No, I won't. You were right, Max. I... I do care about him. What? Ugh, I knew it. You've gone soft. You're almost a superhero. And you're in love with one. Well, who says heroes and villains can't like each other? No, you have to make a choice. Our family or him. Max. I'm serious, Mindy. Pick one. Fine, then I choose him. How dare you! Knock it off. Nah, you're about to become a hero, which makes you my enemy. You want to know why I chose him over this family? Yeah, why? Because he's the only one that's ever been nice to me. Nice? We're a family of villains. We're not nice. You always were the weaker twin. <sighs> you leave her alone, right now! Aw, uh, look who's up. What are you gonna do, huh? Simple. I'm gonna create your biggest weakness. Extreme heat. No, stop! <sighs> Hero. I knew you were a hero, Mindy! Remember when you said you would owe me a favor? Do you think I could stay at your house? My parents will never let me come home now. Of course. My family is going to love you. I'm just Ken, and you were where else I'd be a ten. Mommy, what's that? It's like charades, honey. You just have to act out your word very quickly, and I have to guess. Okay, you ready? Oh, a, a dog. <sighs> Understand how to play? Yeah. I got a word now. What am I riding? Um, a bike? No, not a bike. You use your feet. A motorcycle? No, honey, please hurry or something bad is going to happen to mommy. I don't know. I don't I know. I bought this for you for your birthday. Um, a scooter? Yes. Oh, I'm safe. I don't like this game. A camera? No, and the time's up. <gasps> no, I'm so sorry. I couldn't guess it in time. Sissy, I got a word. Rar. Okay, um, a lion? No. <laughs> a tiger? A bear? No, no, not that. Come on, Susie, you only have ten seconds left. Rar. A cheetah? A leopard? A... Just tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Yay, you got it right. I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Officer? Hello, ma'am. We're looking for a girl named Susie. We believe your daughter cheated. Tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Susie, did you cheat? No, my sister guessed the right answer. Uh-huh. Well, the report could have been a glitch. Remember, cheating has consequences. We know. Have a nice day. What was that about? Look, Mom, let's just say that Susie is not good at this game. We need to sign her up for acting classes or something. Honey, don't tell me you actually cheated. I wasn't gonna let her die. Huh? Let who die? No one. Nothing, Susie. We're just talking, sweetheart. You are lucky you got off the hook this time. Mom? No, this is ridiculous. Mom, I have a word. Okay, go ahead. You're holding your breath. You're swimming. You're... you're a shark? No. Uh... The Water Olympics? No, Mom, come on. Let me guess, let me guess. Um, um, scuba diver. Yes. <sighs> that was a close one. Uh-oh, I got a word. Come on, Susie, you got this. Ooh, I learned about this in school. Okay, honey, act it out. It looks like she's swimming. Um, a duck? No, not that. A swan? Nope. Grrr. Um, what is it? I don't know. Okay, Mom, I don't know. Just help her. Splash. We have to cheat again. No, don't. Mom. Susie, what is your word? My word is... Susie? She's alive. That was scary. I really thought we lost her. This doesn't make any sense. Every time someone gets a word wrong, an armed drone comes down and shoots them. I know, honey, but the drone missed. No, but the drones never miss. The creator of the game programmed them to have perfect accuracy. There's something you need to know. Your father is the creator of this game. What? It's the reason I divorced him.
You mean to tell me that our father is the reason for this game existing? Yes. I'm going to act it out headquarters, and I'm getting Dad to shut down this game. No, it's too dangerous. He didn't kill Susie, which means he still cares about us. I have to try. Hey, you're not allowed to be in yet. My father is Darren White, the creator of this game, and I want to speak to him. Oh, really? You got some ID on you? Oh. Now let me see my father. I see your mom finally told you about me. You've got a lot of explaining to do. You got a word, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll guess it for you. Act it out. No. What? Me and everyone else are done playing this game. Sweetheart, you're gonna run out of time. End the game. Just act it out, I can't. No, if you really love me, you're gonna end it right now. I've put too much work into this game to stop it now. Then I guess you're only gonna have one daughter. No, honey. Oh my god, what have I done? Dad. Shut the game down. But sir, I said shut it down. The game is offline. Good. I gotta get her to a hospital. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I can't believe this happened. I did it for all of us. So Daddy's gone? Yeah, the doctor said once he found out she was okay, he took off. All that matters is that this horrible game is over. Yeah. Sissy needs to rest now. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks, Mom. Hi, Mom. I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even going to notice. I said no. You know what will happen if people see that mark. They'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's going to notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not going to happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please, just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. Uh, you must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back. I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of... Origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. <coughs> I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown. This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand massage. I will, but after. Right now, I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I told you it's too dangerous. <sighs> no, Mom, I can protect myself because I just... Enough! Now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now, do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking the questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey, you went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm gonna have to do the look. Huh, that, uh, usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Oh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. 
Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom, and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me. I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> I can get adopted by a teacher or a mafia boss? What is that? I'm gonna go ask some of the other kids. Hey guys, do any of you know what a mafia boss is? How innocent. Mafia bosses are super rich and they make for great parents. It's true, they're super nice. Really? Yeah, if that's one of your options, you should pick it. Okay. <laughs> Someone is here to adopt you. Hey kid. Natalie, say hi. Hi. This is Mr. Russo, he's going to take great care of you. Come on, Natalie. Let's take you to your new home. I got you a little something. Thank you. Of course. So is it true that you make a lot of money? Excuse me? I don't like to talk about my job. I'm sorry. I was just asking. No questions about my work. Put these on and go to your room for 30 minutes. But why? Hey, boss. He's ready for you. Natalie, go now. Okay. You're late again on your payment. This will be the last time, I swear. Yeah, it will be. Bye, Mr. Russo. Wait, before you go to school. I want you to, uh, stay away from any cops you see, okay? Okay. Hi, hon. I'm Officer Blair. I really should be going. We just want to talk to you about your father. He a mafia boss? No. Uh-huh. Don't lie to us. Hey! Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. You'll use this. A pen? It has a video camera in it. And you're gonna be recording him all the time. Got it? No, I won't betray my new dad. You don't help us, and you'll be going to juvie, young lady. So we suggest you comply. Maybe those kids lied to me. I mean, if I'm gonna betray him, I have to know what he's really doing for a living. Hey, Mr. Russo, I know you said to never ask about your work, but if I'm gonna be living here with you as your daughter, you have to be honest with me. <sighs> you sure you wanna know? I'm sure. Well, I make money by doing things that aren't exactly legal. Oh. May I ask why you adopted me? This job can get pretty lonely, and I always wanted a daughter, but maybe that was selfish. No, no, that wasn't selfish. It was actually kind of sweet. Since you were honest with me, I'm going to be honest with you. Some cops did approach me today, and they wanted me to record you and gather evidence on you using this pen. What? Give me that. I told you no cops. I know, I'm sorry. It's just they were very insistent, and one of the guys was grabbing onto my arm, and he was really scaring me. They said if I didn't gather evidence on you and record you, that I would go to juvie. They want a video, huh? Let's give them one. Did you get what we wanted? Yes, I did. All the evidence you need against my father is in this pen. You should listen to it now. Ew. Oh, oh, what the? Oh no, the pen must have malfunctioned. You two think you're funny? Do you want to go to juvie because- Wait a minute, your badges look really fake. Are they plastic? Time for plan B. Get her. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're gonna have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're gonna have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then he'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> You're not going to tell him anything. Ow! Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No! Hey, kid. Everything's going to be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's going to be all right. Let's go this way. No! We knew you'd come. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are going to pay. You should know better. You think I'd come here alone? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I brought these for you. Put them on and close your eyes. Stop it! I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Come here, sweetheart. Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her.
You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Russo, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the Mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Russo? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your... Yes. I promise, I'm always going to protect you. Babe, I got... Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be six ninety nine back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed? Now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because. After I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead, and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> so step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No. Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet. But obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Adrena. Okay, true or false, a mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us. Please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. 
Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is- You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair is getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because we want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know? I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are going to stay extinct anymore. I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> You ran away. Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what? I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. I'm <sighs> sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but... Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her. Tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And... I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you, and this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption, and how old is Emily? She's five. I see, and it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm i just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine. I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to our test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? 
No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. <laughs> Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? <sighs> that look like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure. And we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where's Emily? Hey. Oh, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll... Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. No. Shh, guys, I heard something. No. Emily, Emily? Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> What's wrong? I thought you left me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. <laughs> Promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm, he's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I. And you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? No, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... she's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. Four million dollars or a stick? Oh, look at me. I'm going to go choose the stick. Happy birthday! Oh. <laughs> Kit, stick selected. Whoa, that's a cool stick. You're welcome. That's it. Come here. Mom! Leah, why are you chasing her? Because she made me pick a freaking stick over four million dollars. Leah, don't be so hard on her. She's only eight. Did you hear what I just said? You literally always side with her. I wish you were my age so you could understand how I feel. Wish granted. Hey, girls. Want to go to a party tonight? Mommy? Mom? Hey, who are you calling a mom? <laughs> Did I just turn her into a teenager?
I think this stick is actually a magic wand. Yeah, you think? Turn her back! Okay, okay. I wish my mom was back. Ugh. Who are you? I am your mother, and I have been looking for you too. You are my daughters. She's trying to trick us. I wish for my real mom to come back. Wish already granted. What? This thing must be broken. Say mom's name. Good idea. I wish for Laura Jones to reappear and for this creepy woman to disappear. No, wait! Girls? Mom! What happened? Leah made you disappear, and a mean lady came. Yeah, it turns out this stick is actually a magic wand, so... Sorry. Girls, that mean lady was actually your mom. What? what? Yes, I'm actually your big sister, and I took you guys away from her when you were little and raised you both. No, I... I would have remembered that. No, you wouldn't, because I also got a wand for my birthday, and... I erased your memories of her. You've been lying to us. It was for your protection. She was horrible. No, I don't trust you. I wish for a real mom, too. Stop. I wish Leah was frozen. Unfreeze her. I just need to take her wand. I wish for her to unfreeze. Whoa, what the... I'm sorry, Leah. This is for your own good. I wish for her to forget what just happened. No! Mom, what happened? Nothing. You just need to rest. No, she's lying. She made you forget. I wish for Kit to fall asleep. <sighs> Why would you do that? I... Is that my wand? No, Leah! <sighs> Why can't I remember anything? Because you, um... I wish to remember everything I forgot. No! <clears throat> You're my big sister? Oh my gosh, Kit. I wish for Kit to wake up. Whoa, that was really trippy. I'm taking your wand. No! Ugh! Kit, give it back! I wish for you to tell us the truth. Was our mom really evil? Yeah, she was. But I shouldn't have erased your memories. I'm sorry. We, we forgive, forgive you. you. Here's your wand back. But I accidentally broke it a little bit. <laughs> Whoopsies. What? My wand! <gasps> no! What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's going to be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's going to propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared! <sighs> <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're going to turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't. And I'm going to get a 100% score just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter. And I'm going to be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? <laughs> Nighty night. Holly, wake up. Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da. Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm going to make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's going to know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared, we were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you, he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty and we can go to your place and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know, you're gonna make your nice score go down. 
It's going down a lot more if you Okay, don't... wait. I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up. I don't like this, come on. Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No, how long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't going to be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute, aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There, that should have helped her. Ugh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared? Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly? You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... <laughs> no way! Looks like baby Crystal has taken up after me. Please, don't be anything too bad. That's an embarrassing curse. Don't you hate singing? Stop! <laughs> don't talk to me. Loser, lame old wannabe. What the... <laughs> wow, sissy, I feel sorry for you. Uh... Hey, girly, I'm new to this school. Just wanted to introduce myself. But I heard about your curse. I'm so sorry. I've got a bad feeling about you. What the actual freak was that? <laughs> <laughs> Remind me not to sit next to her at lunch. So, are you down to be official? Like, boyfriend and girlfriend? I think I like this little life. What the heck? You just ruined the moment. This was serious. I'm out of here. Baby, come back. Aw, look, it's the girl who got cursed to sing. <laughs> Why you gotta be so rude? Maybe try some auto-tune. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hard knock life. Hi, Chloe. I mean, oh my god. Uh, what's it? Claire. Hi, Claire. Say my name, say my name. Sorry, honey, my mind is everywhere, but you're about to get a new curse. I hope you can stop singing. Don't bring me down. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh-oh. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh-oh. Okay, your makeup's done. I told you I could do it. Oh, I forgot to brush your teeth. Chloe, come help your sister brush your teeth, please. Mom, no, I think I'd rather die. <laughs> Mom said, come on. <gasps> Hurry up. Also, you're gonna get dress coded for that top. No, I'm not. Mom already talked to the teachers. This was the only top she could get on me without me moving my arms. Oh, Mom told me also someone's gonna be helping you do everything today. Whatever, can you just brush my teeth already? <laughs> okay, sissy, smile. Here comes the toothbrush. Mom said your crush is going to be the one helping you today. What? Hey, nice to meet you. My name's Drake. I'm going to be the one helping you take your test today. The teacher said you just tell me what answer you want me to write and I'll write it for you. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay, and for the last multiple choice question? C? It's actually B, but hey, I won't tell anybody. Pretty sure you're going to get an A on this. Look, it's the girl who can't move her arms. <laughs> guys, come on, grab her. What the heck? Let go of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't funny, guys. Let me out. Just open the door. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Later, loser. Hello, anyone? Hey, Claire, are you in there? Yes, Drake, it's me. I'm in here. Okay, I'm coming in. I can't believe they locked you in the janitor's closet. I know, but that's high school mean girls for you, I guess. Yeah, don't let them get to you. Let me help you have some food, and then I can drive you home. Okay. Hey, sissy, you can move your arms now. Yeah, finally. I'm still waiting for my next curse to load. 
Are you going to tell Drake that you like him? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm finally just going to tell him that I like... That you what? Uh-oh. Oh no, your curse, it, it says you can't speak. Sorry, sissy. You're putting nuts in Drake's food, but he's allergic. I know, it's what he gets for ignoring me and paying attention to that random girl yesterday. Hey you, I was just about to eat my lunch. Do you want some? Oh! Why would you do that? I was saving you, Ashley. Put nuts in your food, Drake. What the hell, Ashley? Is that true? Drake, you know, I would literally never do that. Really? Then why do I see peanut shavings on the side of your bag? Uh... Liar. You can't prove anything. So, looks like we both kind of saved each other this week. <laughs> that was nice. I just wish there was a way we could end these curses, you know? Me too. Hey! My, my curse, curse is, is broken! broken. <gasps> Mom? Do you think I have big lips? <laughs> yes, honey. Are you sure, though? Because I could just rock the fish face all day, you know? <laughs> Sweetheart, stop it. You look ridiculous. You don't need to do that. You'll be fine. Well, thanks, but wish me luck for the beauty inspection. You won't need luck, honey. I'm sure you'll pass. Help me. I have super thin lips. Shoot. <sighs> what am I going to do? You remember the Kylie Jenner lip challenge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so just go into the science lab, get like a little container and... Girl, do not do that. That looks really weird. Okay, you know what I mean. Beauty inspection in five minutes. Hurry! I'm going. Next. All right, stand still while the beauty scanner scans your face. Pass. All right, you're good to go. Next. Hey, you passed the beauty inspection. Yeah, your idea worked. We got a runner. Please, I swear my lips are not that... Bring her to the van. Where do you think they take them? I don't know, but I don't think I want to know either. Same. Thanks. Yes, I'm safe. But I'm not. You helped me, so now I'm gonna help you. Next in line for the beauty check. Pass. You're clear. Get out of here. Hi. Oh, what happened? The beauty standard happened. Apparently, bangs are in style now. Who cut them for you? <laughs> oh gosh, this has definitely backfired. What? Nothing. It's just you don't really look as good as you used no, no, no. to. Mom, don't worry. These are actually fake. They're, uh, they're clip-on, see? Oh, thank goodness. It was actually my friend's idea. She has the same color hair as me, and she carries these clip-on bangs in her backpack, and... The beauty standard changed. Oh, well, that was perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, I just realized if the beauty standard is no bangs, then my best friend is in danger. Beauty check in ten minutes. I have to get to class. Time for the beauty check. Well, actually, I was looking for my best friend, Tara. She has hair like me, and- There are other people in line. Don't move while we scan you. Passed. Next. Help me take this one to the van. Uh, yes, sir. That's my friend. No, please, you can't take her. Miss, let us do our job. <laughs> Worry about yourself. The beauty standard is changing again. I brought you food, hun. No, mom, I'm not hungry. How am I supposed to eat knowing that my best friend is locked away somewhere? Sweetie, you gotta eat or you're gonna get too thin. I don't care! And why won't this stupid thing just load? The system is down right now, but it'll load. Help! Someone help us! Did you hear that? It sounded like it was coming from the vents. Mom, please tell me you heard that. That was Tara's voice, right? Oh, no, sweetie. I didn't hear a thing. You must be imagining things. No, but I heard... Honey, you witnessed something very traumatic with your friend. And I think you might be experiencing some PTSD right now. Sweetie? No, I don't care what it is. I'm not looking. I'm not doing it. This one is so easy to do. I'll help you. See, that wasn't so bad. No, let me get out the beauty scanner so you can show that you passed the inspection. Whoa, wait a minute. How do you have one of those? Only people that work for the system have one of those. Well, lucky me found this one on the ground. Now stay still. Good girl. Passed. Honey, I'll be right back. Please, can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Mom forgot her laptop in here. She got a text from someone called Unknown. Hey boss, we're gonna need you to make the beauty standards a lot harder. Not enough people have been eliminated. Wait, he wouldn't be calling her boss unless she's in charge of the whole system. So if my mom is in charge of the beauty standards, then... Someone help us, please! That voice is real. Okay, it's gonna be okay. I just have to follow where the voice is coming from and save my friend. The beauty standard is about to change. I better hurry. Hello? <gasps> Tara? 
You, you found me. Oh my gosh, you're okay. Your mom, she, she's in charge of the system. I know, I know. Honey, it's dinner time. I have to go. No, don't leave me in the cell. I'll be back, all right? I'm gonna save you. I'm so glad you're eating. Was it good? It was really good. Great, because I put something special in there to help you relax. Wait, what do you mean? I know you know my secret, and I can't have you freeing your friend. You're just gonna feel a little tired. Oh, but don't worry. I'll make sure you pass the beauty standard. I'm so glad you're eating. Was it good? It was really good. Great, because I put something special in there to help you relax. Wait, what do you mean? I know you know my secret, and I can't have you freeing your friend. You're just gonna feel a little tired. Oh, but don't worry. I'll make sure you pass the beauty standard. This looks so cute. Mom, please don't hurt my friend. Hush, let me finish your freckles. All right, now let me scan you. No, no, I don't want to do the beauty check. Oh, stop being so dramatic. Pass. You see, that was easy. Why are you making these beauty standards for people? Because growing up, my mother made sure I followed all the beauty standards. Every single one. I'm really sorry that happened to you, but you can't force everyone to follow these standards. It's not, it's not fair. Oh, honey, I didn't even get to finish my story. Jace, keep an eye on her. I'll be right back. Sure thing, boss. Hey, I'm gonna give you something to wake you up. Can you hear me? This is gonna hurt a little bit. What? I'm gonna inject it into your arm. Three, two... <sighs> I'm sorry, but your mom, she's planning on killing your friend. But I know a way you could stop her and shut down this whole system. Wait, if you work for my mom, then why are you helping me? Because this is all getting out of hand. They just passed a new law that everyone locked up is to be killed. And that includes your friend, Tara. No, she wouldn't do that. Well, it's supposed to happen tonight at midnight. And your mom isn't the only one that works for the system. In fact, the others are getting kind of mad that she keeps making the beauty standards too easy. What? Yeah, supposedly some of them are going to try and hack the system and change the standard to something really hard. And it looks like they already did it. Wait, this is perfect. Let me scan you for the beauty check. What? No, I'm going to fail. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Trust me, I think this is the only way we can get your mom to shut the system down. Just stay still. Failed. I'm back. <gasps> Mom, please help me. Who changed the beauty standard to blue eyes? I'm not sure, but ma'am, your daughter has failed the inspection. No, no, she never fails. Ma'am, I would suggest shutting down the system. I can't. You have to, please. It, it doesn't work like that the way I designed it. It has to say something for the standard. Then put that everyone is beautiful. Otherwise, you know what's going to happen. Mom? Ma'am, the system has been hacked. They're going to kill her for failing. I... I can't. Mom, please. Ma'am, you're the only one that can change this. Come on. I... No! I did it. I'm so sorry, honey. I got so caught up in these beauty standards that I forgot what was really important. Here, go free everyone. Thank you. You made the right choice, ma'am. Let's go. Tara! You came back. <laughs> Hang on, let me put in the code. They, they said they were gonna kill... No, that's not happening anymore. The system is over with. Everyone is considered beautiful. You're all free to go. Is a giant teddy bear or become an adult? What kind of options are these? I'm gonna have to go with... Honey, don't pick your wish until I get back from vacation. Fine. Bye, Mom. Bye, and while I'm gone, your big sister's in charge. Yes. Thanks, Mom. I promise I'll take great care of her. Let me see that. Hey! Sorry, but I'm not having you turn into one of those iPad kids. No more iPad for you. No, sissy. Bye. <laughs> oh, she's so mean. Hmm. If I can be older than sissy, then I can boss her around. What the heck? Nothing even happened to me. Oh, I feel sleepy. Oh, that was a really long nap. My voice, it sounds different. <gasps> it worked. All right, if you want your iPad back... <gasps> Who are you, and what did you do with my little sister? Sissy, no, listen, it's me. Yeah, right, you creep. Where is she? Please, put those scissors down. You're scaring me. Tell me something only my sister would know. Um. Tell me something only my sister would know. Oh, when I was three, I flushed your goldfish down the toilet because I thought I was saving its life. There's no way you could have known about that unless... Sadie? Duh, who else would it be? Why do you look like this? You look like a younger version of Mom. Well, I kind of, sort of, used my Christmas wish. You wish to become an adult? Sadie! This is all your fault, really, because you're the one that locked me in my room and took away my iPad. So now that I'm an adult, I order you to give it back to me. <laughs> just because you look like an adult doesn't mean I'm treating you like one. Okay, fine. Then I'll just go to the store and buy one myself, because I found a driver's license and a credit card in my pocket. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Try me. Sadie, wait! Oh, I cannot believe I'm letting you drive me right now.
I told you, I've done so many car simulation games that I'm practically a pro at driving at this point. There's a tumbleweed! We are going in and out of this- Hey, beautiful. ...store. Is there any chance I could get your number? No, sir, she is eight years old. <laughs> Funny. The answer is no, L let's go. You're not getting that, you're getting age-appropriate clothes. No, I like my clothes and I want this. Sadie, don't you dare start cro- <laughs> Oh my god, is she okay? Do I need to call the police? <laughs> no, ma'am. <sighs> Good morning, sissy. No, Sadie, it is not a good morning. I cannot believe you suckered me into letting you buy that. Well, if you didn't, they were gonna call the cops since I was crying so much. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute, your hair looks different. Did you get it done? Do you like it? Yeah, it looks great, except for the fact that you snuck out without telling me. I don't have to tell you anything, because I'm an adult now. You need to take back your wish. No, I like being grown up. Sadie, you don't get what it's actually like to be grown up. You don't see how much I've been taking care of you. I can take care of myself. Oh, yeah? You know what? I'm leaving. Sissy... No, you should see what it's really like to be an adult. How hard could cooking breakfast actually be? I can make mac and cheese in a pan, right? I'll just let it boil on high for one hour. Ooh, that must be my delivery. This giant dollhouse better be easy to assemble. Why is this instruction manual so confusing? And now my eyesight isn't as good as it was before. <gasps> my mac and cheese! <laughs> oh no, it's gonna start a fire. How do I put out a fire? Um, maybe I can use this to cover up the smoke? <laughs> I'm... <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Did you start a fire? I didn't mean to. I was trying to cook breakfast. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on, I gotta get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. Please, worker mom's gonna kill us. The fire's out, come here. That was a lot of smoke, are you sure you're okay? Yes, sissy, I'm fine. Thank you for saving me. If you didn't come when you did, the whole place probably would have burnt down. And I'm sorry for what I said. You really do take care of me. Sometimes even more than mom. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be grown up anymore. But now I'm gonna be stuck like this forever. No, Sadie, don't cry. I got a third option for my Christmas wish when I was out. I can now wish to turn you back into a kid. You would use up your Christmas wish on me? Yeah, I would, because nobody deserves to grow up that fast. You ready? Okay. Did it work? <gasps> my voice is back on me again! Yay! I love you, sissy. I love you too, Sadie. I missed you being little. Give me a hug. Wanna just tell mom we both wish to be nicer to each other? <laughs> Ready to see your soulmate letter? One, two... <gasps> what? Cover it up. Does the letter F stand for something that I don't know? Never mind about your letter. We'll just cover it so no one can see it. It's fine. But mom... Don't argue with me on this one. Here, wear this glove for the ball tonight. But if I wear this glove, how is my soulmate ever supposed to find me? He won't. But that's not fair. Why won't you just tell me what's wrong with this letter? Enough questions and complaining. I'm the queen and what I say goes. Now if I see you take that glove off one time tonight, you will regret it. Care to dance, princess? I don't really feel like dancing. Oh, come on, princess. It's a beautiful night. All you gotta do is take my hand. Ow! My glove's on fire. Whoa, uh, hang on. I got no, it. No, no, wait. That was weird. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, is that your soulmate letter? Because I think I... No, please don't look at that. But, Princess, I... Aspen, where is your glove? Aspen, you're supposed to be wearing your glove. I... It was my fault. Did you burn her glove? It was an accident. You are to never see this boy again. Guards, take her to her room. Yes, Your Majesty. Here, I got you a new one. What is with all the secrets? What is wrong with this letter? And why couldn't I talk to that guy? Cover that mark, I don't want to look at it. There are some secrets that are meant to be kept. You obviously don't understand that. Oh, and you're grounded for not listening to me. Ugh. She's still treating me like I'm five years old. This whole thing about my letter is ridiculous. Did I do that? I think I did, but how do I make it stop? Do I have powers? I brought you food, princess. And I brought the soulmate handbook. Don't let the queen see you reading it. I won't. Thank you. F stands for fire, which is the power the male soulmate will possess. <laughs> My glove's on fire. Wait, so he has fire powers and I have ice? Aspen, you've been locked in your room for a while. I just wanted to check on you. Your hand is freezing. Really? I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. 
Well, has anything strange happened to you today? No. But actually, Mom, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna... Yes, by all means, get your rest. Keep a close eye on her, please. Yes, Your Majesty. Mom? Princess. <gasps> Shh, hey, it's okay. You know me. I'm the guy from the ball. How did you get onto my balcony? This is gonna sound crazy, but I used my fire powers to fly up here, and I think you and I are... Soulmates, I know. I read the Soulmate Handbook, and this F apparently stands for fire, which are your powers, but the only problem is, I think I have ice powers. Whoa, you're kidding. Well, you know what they say. Opposites, Opposites attract. I say we kiss and see what happens. Wait. We should kiss and see what happens. Uh, wait. What's wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden, I just started to not feel good. I know why. Mom? Mm-hmm. How long have you been listening in? Long enough to know your powers have come in. You knew? Why didn't you ever tell me? Because your powers mean you and your soulmate can never be together. You're lying. I am telling the truth. If you kiss him, you will die. No, we're supposed to be together. See? Fire and ice don't mix. Get rid of him. <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait! Let's go, princess. Stop fighting me. There. Those gloves will not be coming off. Princess? Go away. No, please wait. I want to help you. I know how to get those special gloves off. Let me see your hands. Aspen, I escaped. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. Your Highness, I'm not so sure that was a good idea. She's fine. Right, Aspen? Princess? No. Please, Aspen, don't do this to me. I think your powers were too strong for her. She still has a pulse. There has to be something I can do to save her. True love's kiss. It could awaken her. But you'd have to give up your powers. If it means saving her, I'll do it. If you drink this potion, your fire powers will be gone forever. Please work. Princess! Princess! I can't believe you sacrificed your powers for me. Aspen, you're more important to me than any of my powers could be. Aspen, I was wrong. I had no idea your soulmate was so selfless. Please forgive me. Okay, Mom, I forgive you, but you have to promise me no more secrets. Yes, I promise you. Hey, our soulmate letters are gone. I wonder what that means. Grandma, what is that above my head? Those are all your childhood memories, dear, and it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good, because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. <laughs> There is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be all right. My queen, watch out. The ceiling is collapsing. No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir. Do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah. Those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memory? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. <laughs> At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing! No! Grandma? She left me. My head. Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. 
Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia. I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No. Leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch, or...? You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to... Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for... Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes, like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm! I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited. Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is, I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh okay, come here. No way, I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice, now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. All right, you can have a little break. Come on. You know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I going to do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst, Melanie. Grayson, what are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. <gasps> that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. 
Who do you think you're gonna get? I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son, because he's super cute. <gasps> who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny son. Your soulmate is a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. Anyways, I have to go now. Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet you he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I, uh, think your father wants to speak with you. He does? Mm-hmm. He's in his office. Hey. Santa, your daughter is here. Ho, oh, oh. There you are, Holly. Hey, Dad. Did you find out who your soulmate is? Uh, nope. Holly, you know lying will get you on the naughty list. All right, just don't get mad. My soulmate is... Santa, all of our toy machines have been frozen solid. No worries, I'm on it. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. My name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow, pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh yeah, things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho, there she is. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Really? <laughs> that's funny. We wanted to tell you the toy machine is fixed. Oh, good. But we need to know... Who your soulmate is. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not feeling so well. I think I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Oh, no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get canceled. What am I gonna do? <gasps> Holly. Jared? Do not move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. Well, that's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. The hole is closing up. All right, you should be good to cross now. Just give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you, I promise. Let me see your hand. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice and easy now. Whoa, hey, you all right? Yeah, thank you. You know, I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad, he thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah, it's because I'm not really all that great at using my powers. Well, you seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Well, thanks. Wanna see something cool? Uh, okay. Whoa, it's... it's beautiful. You really are. I mean, it's beautiful, but you... you are too. Jared, what are you doing? Dad! Son, get over here right now. We were just talking, Jack. That's Mr. Frost to you. And I know flirting when I see it. Ow! Dad, let go! No son of mine is going to date a Kringle. Stop it. That isn't fair. Get out of here, kid, before I turn you into an ice sculpture. It's okay, Holly. Just go. You're never going to see her again. Mom, Dad, there you guys are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You are on the naughty list. Listen, I can explain. It's because... I haven't been very truthful about who my soulmate is. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. <gasps> what? No, it can't be. But wait, listen, he's actually really nice, and he needs my help. Ho, <laughs> ho, nice? Don't you remember what his father did to you last year? No, but Jared is different. Tunny, his family cannot be trusted, and you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. I have to help Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Hey, I can help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Well, I can actually use your help. Awesome, because I already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story. Plus, I totally ship you guys. Aw, thanks. Well, what's your plan? Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which is already done. But they never take afternoon naps. Uh, let's just say I gave them some special milk. Winky! It was the only way. Now, follow me. This is the house. Now, I'll distract Jack while you go look for Jared. Okay. Why is it so hot in here? Holly, is that you? Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, the heat. It makes me weak. Come on, we gotta get you outside. It's no use. I can't get up. Just go. No, I'm not leaving you here. Okay, Jared, I hope you've learned your... What do you think you're doing? Holly, run! And where do you think you're going? You can't escape from me. 
Jack, please. I told you to stay away from my son. Now you're gonna pay the price. Just a few more minutes and you'll be frozen forever. Hey, get away from her. Don't worry, I'm gonna stop him. Your powers are no match for mine. We'll see about that. <laughs> And you said I was no good at using my powers. You're too late, Jared. Holly! Oh, my poor baby. Jared, we can't thank you enough for saving her. And we're pleased to announce you both are off the naughty list. Really? Yes, and you have our blessing to be together. Thank you. I promise. I will always look after her. Are you getting kind of hot now? Yeah, a little. I think I can help with that. See how much money my boyfriend has, or see how much he loves me? I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. We've only been dating for a year, so I won't expect it to be... Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, he left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. Just wanted to say I'm excited for our date tonight. Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> I know, right? Remember when... Oh my gosh, Jake? Heather? From middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but... Yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? Right now really isn't the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just, uh, finished a workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Oh, he hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see... No, I'm not gonna be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, X equals two and Y equals one. Thanks. Listen, about yesterday, I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had to get it for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings. Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. Wait, what? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? <laughs> Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. So, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Maddie, literally, come on. We can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay! I'm actually going to put some powder on your face because you're like really oily. So about Jake, um, what is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have like the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just, can we get back to what we were talking about? No, girly, your split ends really just need a little- <gasps> Ooh, Maddie, I am so sorry. It was just a little hair. Get. Out. Check boyfriend's feelings. Your boyfriend is falling out of love with you. He's cheating on me with her. I just know it. Love meter suggests you break up with him. Hey, Maddie, it's me. Maddie, it's me again. I... Stop calling her. She's not going to answer. Heather, please, can you just call me back? You know what? I don't need him. And I'm going to show him that tomorrow. Maddie, there you are. Look, about Heather, I... Save it. A one-year relationship, and you threw that all away. For some blondie who used to bully me in middle school. She came on to me, okay? And I just didn't know how to tell her. You disgust me. Check BF's feelings. Boyfriend gained some feelings for you. Figures. 
Remove Jake as boyfriend? You will no longer see his feelings. Excuse me? I was wondering if you'd like to come to prom with me? Sure. Really? Because I'm new here and, well, I guess I'll pick you up a date? Okay. Okay, <laughs> see you Saturday. Hey, girly, I heard you have a new boyfriend, so I hope there's no hard feelings. No, of course not. Oh, good, because Jake and I are just, like, so happy together. I can't even focus because your puppy's so cute. Can I hold her? Yeah, sure. You know what to do. I've <laughs> always wanted one like her. Here you go. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Ah! <laughs> I think now you can consider us even. Oh. Come on, girl. <laughs> no, I need it a lot today. Aw, you poor thing. It's not fair. How come you guys always get so many more words than I do? Um, how are we supposed to know that? I don't know. Hey, Ella, don't forget I got a lot of chores for you to do after school. Okay, Fiona. And you better not be late this time. Mom, look, she already used up all her words. What do you expect? She's a blabbermouth. Here, that's for you. Chelsea, you're not supposed to give words. Shh, you're gonna waste them. They're for your big audition for the school play today. Come on, you've been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Of course. Now go show them what you got. I can be who you want me to be. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. We don't need to hear any more. You got the part. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, you're exactly what we're looking for. There you are. Mom's been trying to call- How did you get more words? I- Oh, I'm so telling, Mom. Come here. I found your mom. Let go- Mom! What? What do you want? I found Ella, and she got more words. What are you talking about? She doesn't have any words. She got more, I swear. What are you smiling about? Get to your chores. Mom, you have to believe me. Someone gave her words. No, I know, honey. I heard her talking. That's why I'm gonna have you spy on her tomorrow at school. Oh, and this way she won't suspect anything. Exactly. Something's going on with her. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Yes, I haven't gotten this many words since... My dad passed away. I'm pleased to announce we have finally casted our prince for the play. Hi, I'm Adam. Save your words, Adam. We're going to be rehearsing the first part of the song right now. Don't go breaking my heart. I could if I tried. That was great. One moment. We need to fix the mics. Hey, did they cast the captain of the football team as the prince? Oh, you must have used up all your words in the play rehearsal. Here, I need the tea. Come on, what happened? Okay, so basically he was looking at me the whole time and like you- I won't go breaking. Nice voice. Fiona, you weren't supposed to be home until- Until later? I got off early today. How do you have so many words, hon? I just got a lot of words today. Or did someone give you a lot of words? Like your friend Chelsea, so you could spill the tea to her about the play? How did you know that I- I think that's enough talking from her today, don't you? <laughs> yes, Mom. I think it's time she learns the truth. Sit down and look up. Surprise! I've been controlling your words. I really thought she was going to catch on, but she never did. All of this time, you've been taking my words? How could you do that, you- Eh-eh. Uh -uh. That's enough. You always got so many more words than I did, and it just wasn't fair. You outshined my daughter with your words, so I took that away. And now you're trying to outshine her by being the lead in a play? Well, that's not gonna happen. So, if you ever want to talk again, you're gonna do as we say. Hey, you. Aw, you're all out of words again. Here, take some. What's wrong? I can't be friends with you anymore, and if you give me words again, I'm going to report you. What? Ella, how could you say that? Wait! You ready, honey? Oh, I'm ready. Your stepsister's pretending to have your voice, so you better make it good. I won't go breaking your heart. Wow, you sound just like Ella. If anything happens to her, you will go up on stage for the play. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you, sounds good. I'm so proud of you, honey. Thanks. What? I need to use the restroom. Hurry up, I want to go home. You have five minutes. There, go. Ella, there you are. I wanted to check on you. You didn't seem like yourself today. You, you need help? You don't have any words. Ella, what are you doing? Come here. Get in the car. Wait, she seemed a little distressed today. Oh, I think she's coming down with a cold. But our play is tomorrow. Don't worry. If she's sick, her stepsister will perform for her. Now let's go. Okay, here's some words. Now, Lacey, you practice lip sync into Ella's voice. Ella, start singing. No. What did you what say? Did you say? I'm not going to let her get credit for my singing voice. I'm going to take away all your words again. Okay. okay. Do it. You little brat! I don't need you. Don't go breaking my heart. See, I can sing myself. Yeah, good luck with that. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to talk to Adam. Hold it. 
You're not talking to anybody. You don't want to cooperate, so you're gonna stay in this room forever. No, no, please. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Mom, take away her words. It's done. Now no one can hear her. Ella, are you home? I snuck in through your back door. I really hope you're here. <gasps> I really hope that's you. Okay, I'm coming. Ella! Let me guess, your stepmother locked you in here and took away your words? Ugh, I knew it. I got a million words today. You can have some of mine. Thanks. Chelsea, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I bet Fiona was forcing you to say all that mean stuff, huh? Well, right now, your stepsister's putting on your costume. She's gonna go on instead of you. But she can't even sing. Tell me about it. I heard her practicing. You gotta do something. You know what? You're right. Come on. Let's go. I won't go breaking your heart. Oh, you suck. This play is a disaster. We need Ella. Well, lucky for you, Adam, she's right here. Hey, cut Lacey's mic and cue the music again. Don't go breaking my heart. I couldn't if I tried. Oh, honey, if I get restless. Hey, my dad wants to offer you a scholarship to his college. Wait, really? Yeah, he's like the head of this performing arts university, and he thinks you're really talented. But how's she gonna sing without a voice? <laughs> Whoa, did you just take her words? Yeah, Adam, they did, and they've been doing it. They're right over there, officer. You two are under arrest for word thievery. No! Just stop it! And since you stole from her, she gets all your words. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way. That's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're gonna adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh look, it's the freaks. <laughs> hey! Give that back to her. Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the- uh -huh. That just floated out of my hands. Freaks. Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you two. Oh, bye guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandparents already do this one all the time, so... Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. <laughs> Sex to be you. That's it, come here. Mom! I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah, totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? Um, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. <sighs> oh my gosh. I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what? I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. I'm <sighs> sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, 
But Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her. Tell her that you're my real mommy. I. Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is twenty one twenty two Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter, and I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you, and this is gonna sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption, and how old is Emily? She's five. I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine. I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to our test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. <laughs> Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? <sighs> that look like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure. And we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where is Emily? Hey. Oh, you scared me. Good. Now, where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll... Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No. Okay. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Hey. Shh. Guys, I heard something. Hey. Emily. Emily? Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> What's wrong? I thought you left me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. 
Promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe. There's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm. He's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I. And you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... she's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. Why is this not coming off? You may not remove the outfit. You gotta be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked... Early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this gonna go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, mean girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. <sighs> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right. Well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You gotta help me find my soulmate, because I am not gonna be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom... Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey. What? I was talking around, and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man... Mom! <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday, he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. Medieval Times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom!
Oh, honey, smile. Okay, mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the... I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, yeah, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may now dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from now? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with, so if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. Oh my gosh, girl, is this hottie with an accent your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. <gasps> 10,000? But mommy and daddy always give me 15,000. They must be trying to put me on a budget or something. My parents only gave me $5 today. Yikes, sucks for you. Please, can you buy me my lunch? No, I don't think I will. Oh, please, I'm so hungry. Sorry, I can't help you. You know what? You're gonna regret this. Okay, your total's 8,000. Oh, I don't quite have enough. <laughs> Do you want me to just put it on hold for you? No, I really wanted to get this bag today. 
Um, my parents are gonna reload my balance tomorrow. Is it okay if I just pay for it then? Yeah, sure, we can do that for you, babe. Mm. Thank you. Five dollars? No, this, this has to be an error or something. If you don't have the money, you have to return the bag. Well, about that, I kinda sorta already gave it away as a birthday present. Okay, then you're getting arrested. Security? Wait, what? Officer, there's been a mistake. I have a lot of money. Yeah, sure. Just sign right here, okay? I am not signing anything until I speak to my lawyer. Oh, really? Yes, and I know that I get one phone call. What, you gonna call Mommy and Daddy to come save you? Maybe. You're something else, kid. Come on, follow me. <sighs> Hello? Mommy, it's me. Make it quick, darling. I'm at a photo shoot. Mommy, I've been arrested. What? Yes, why did you and Daddy only give me five dollars today? Five dollars? No, Daddy and I sent you 15k. What? Then I don't know what happened, but can you guys come get me? I'm in France right now, darling. Okay, then what about Daddy? Daddy is shooting a movie in Dubai. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Joanna, we need you. Darling, I'll call you back. Hello? Hey, you got a visitor. Mommy and Daddy finally came to get me. Hi, remember me? I told you you'd regret not buying me that lunch. You switched our bank accounts, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I learned how to hack the system. It's something I've been working on for a very long time. All of this because I wouldn't buy you a stupid lunch? Not just that. You're a spoiled little brat who needed to be taught a lesson. You don't know me. Oh, but I do. I did my research on you. Your mommy is a model and your daddy is a movie star. But they both love their careers more than you. That isn't true. Oh, really? Then why aren't they here? Give me back my money. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, thanks? <laughs> Just kidding. <gasps> hey, you little- Watch it. If you want to get out of here, you're going to do exactly as I say. Now that you're out, for every task you do for me, I'll give you back five dollars. But that'll take forever. Exactly. Go clean my bathroom. Yeah, no way. All right, then. I guess I'm never switching our bank accounts back. Okay, fine. That's what I thought. Now get to scrubbing. Okay, I'm all done. Good. Here you go. It's kind of hot in here, so fan me with this. Who do you think you are? Royalty or something? <laughs> Might as well be. Now do it. Can I stop now? Hey, what was that about? No complaining or you lose money. All right, you know what? That's it. Ugh. No, stop! Darling, I'm so proud of you for getting your money back. Yeah, but I realize I should be a little bit more generous with my money, since you guys do give me so much. Darling, your daddy's movie got cancelled, so we're gonna have to cut back. Oh, well then, um, how much am I gonna get now? Well, you see... Mommy, remind me again why we have to wear these bracelets. Sweetheart, I told you, it's so the government can make sure that we don't use our superpowers. So I can't even use my superpowers just for a few minutes? No, superpowers have been banned. If you use them, they will take you away. Do you want that? No. Then you must never use your powers. Watch your sister, please. Okay, Mommy. They even gave her a bracelet, but we don't get our powers until we turn five. Peekaboo. <laughs> How are you doing that? Powers detected. Oh, oh, oh. Sissy, stop. FBI, open up. Please, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you know the rules. No use in powers. She's gonna have to come with us. No, not my baby. <laughs> you let her go. You better stand down, kid, or you'll be coming with us, too. No. Hey, you, freeze. Give me your purse. You don't scare us. My dad here has super strength and is bulletproof. Oh, really? Well, I wasn't talking to him. I was talking to you. How about I blow a hole right through your- Honey, you can't use your superpowers. He's right. But, Dad- It's not worth it. I already lost one daughter. I won't lose you. Yeah, you don't want the government to take you. Now give me the purse. Yes. Later, soups. <laughs> Girl, I think I found a way to disable our bracelets. You did? Yeah. Shh. Let me see your wrist. Are you sure about this? Yeah, totally. We can't keep living without using our superpowers. You know what, you're right. Do it. Okay, done. Think it worked? There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna use a power I haven't used in a while. Powers detected. Tricked ya. What? Soulmate controls my brain or my hand? Um, I'm not picking brain because I refuse to think in boy math, so um, I guess that means I'm gonna go with hand. Hand. I wonder what hand he's gonna be controlling. <laughs>
Okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. Honey, you better not have picked to let your soulmate control your hand. What? Of course not. No, I, um, I picked brain. Oh boy, okay, you poor thing. You probably lost so many brain cells. My gosh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I really just need to go get ready for that Thanksgiving party. Bye-bye. I don't know what dress to wear for the party, the red one or the green one. I mean, it looks nice enough. I'll try it on. All right, you know what? This dress is pretty cute. I like it. Okay, okay. We have to go to the party now. Hey, Brie, nice dress. Thanks. <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing this dance move? Can you please stop it? Hey, you know it's me that's the one who's controlling you, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, if you come with me, I can prove it to you. I'm sorry, but if you're really my soulmate, why is my finger saying no? Well, let me show you. Come on over here with me. Hey! Relax, beautiful. I'm... <coughs> I better go. I'm sorry, are you like some sort of MMA fighter? Because what the heck was that? It was self-defense. He was trying to put his hands on you. Yeah, I know, but did you really have to go all karate kid on him? Yes, yes I did. You could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. You're lucky that guy's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. If you don't want me to be mad at you, then just tell me your address and I can meet you in person. Hello, write something. Do you not want to meet up with me? You know what? Forget this. Hey, are you serious? Oh, so now you want to talk to me? I want to meet up with you, but I can't because it's dangerous. Great excuse. I'm serious. You could already be in danger. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of these jokes. You owe me a new lipstick. I am going to get ready to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. Please tell me that's you at my door. It's midnight, so if it's not you, then... Are you Jason's soulmate? Who? Answer his question. Whoa, listen, guys, I don't even know my soulmate's name. If I were you, I would leave right now because whoever he is, he's controlling my hand and he seems to know how to fight pretty well. Huh, that has to be Jason. Yeah, it must be. Get her. Hey, he's trying to challenge us to a fight. No, no, don't listen to him. Don't come here. Nah, go ahead. Try and fight me using a girl hand, because I... Ah, uh, you got me right in the eye. Oh. Ooh, I am so sorry about that, but I did warn you, you know. Huh? Oh. Ugh. You haven't won just yet. I don't think so. Did you not just see what my soulmate just did to those last two guys? So you can only imagine what he's gonna do to you. <laughs> Come on, now is not the time to quit on me. <laughs> you know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. Oh, and so now... There's no one left to save you. you. Know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. There's no one left to save you. Huh, not so tough when you can't use your hands, now are you? I don't understand. What do you guys want with me? Your soulmate owes us a lot of money, and we were going to use you as bait to get to him. But we're going to make a call, and if we find out that he's really dead, then you will be too. He can't be dead. My hand is moving, which means he must still be... Hey, shh. Are you Jason? Yeah, shh, keep your voice down. I have a plan to save us both. Okay, even though you're free now, pretend you're not. I'm gonna hide back here. They're coming. It's gonna be fine. Remember, I have a plan. He's still alive, so we're moving you to a different little- oh, 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 not today. Oh. Hey, Jason, surrender now or I'll kill her. <laughs> yeah, bird brain. Did you forget I'm still controlling her hand? Huh? Hey, listen. Yes, Mr. Super Spy? <laughs> well, I heard if we kiss, it'll make me stop controlling your hand. Oh. So, good idea, bad idea? You know, I say it's worth a shot. Sweet. Whoa, it totally worked. And now it's asking me if I want to control your hand. I don't think that's a good idea, since you don't really know how to fight and, you know, with my job. Hey! Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to teach me. Why, you little. <laughs> give up my voice until I meet my soulmate or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh. You'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way. She can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs>
Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right. Uh, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. Do we really have to kill the prince, Mother? Yes, Danette. We can't risk her getting her voice back. We'll have to make his death look like an accident. Everyone picked to lose an ability. That's right. Find out which one he picked. We'll find his weakness and use it against him. And as for you, Danette, grab her other arm. You're staying here. And I'll go talk to the prince. <laughs> Mother, I'm back, and I found out his weakness. He can't swim until he kisses his soulmate. Oh, this is perfect. We'll drown him. We'll put soap all over the floor, blame it on the maid, say he slipped and fell in the pool. Stop moving. Danette, you watch her while we go handle the prince. Mother, I really don't think... Watch her. I... I can't do this. I'm not gonna let them kill the prince. I'm setting you free. I thought I was here to speak to your daughter. Whoops, clumsy me. <laughs> Help! <laughs> uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. Uh, He's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. <gasps> I'm so happy you're okay. Hey, you just talked. My voice, it's... it's back. I think the CPR counted as a kiss. You. What? He's supposed to be dead. Stay away from him. <gasps> No! Mother, she must have kissed him. Well, you were right about one thing, stepmother. He was my soulmate. And now that I have my voice back, I intend to use it. Guards? You two are under arrest. What? What? Bye, mother. Bye, sister. Uh, why isn't she getting arrested? Because she decided to help me, unlike you. You know, sometimes having a change of heart can get you out of trouble. Maybe you'll learn that someday. Why, you little... Didn't realize my soulmate was going to be so badass. And now, looks like she's queen. You can choose between a pen or a teddy bear. I think I'm going to choose the pen, because I heard that it's- No! Pick the teddy bear. That pen is dangerous, and you're not allowed to have it. Do you understand? Of course, stepmother. She never lets me do anything I want. I'm not wasting this opportunity. Legend says that whatever you draw with this pen will come to life. I can draw a teddy bear, so when stepmother comes back, she won't get suspicious. I can't believe it worked. So, did you pick the bear? Mm-hmm. See? Oh, yes, I see. Well, that's a good girl. All right, well, I'll be back to check on you later. Wait, but today's my 18th birthday, and you promised that I could leave the palace after I turned 18. Did I say that? It's still too dangerous. Maybe next year. I knew she would never let me go outside. But at least now, I can draw myself a little companion. I've always wanted a puppy. Oh, she's perfect. <laughs> Brielle, open this door. Don't you ever block that door? What was that? You hiding something? What's this? No, wait! What is a puppy doing in your room? Um... I gave it to her, Your Majesty. I, uh, I bought it as a birthday gift for her. Is that so? Yes, I hope you don't mind. Well, I don't allow pets in my palace. Let me see her. No, wait, um, if you let me keep the puppy, I promise I won't ever ask to go outside again. Hmm. Do you really promise? I promise. All right, then. You can keep the little beast. <coughs> oh, you must be hungry. Don't worry. I'm going to draw you some food. I'm glad you liked your food. I also drew you a little toy. <coughs> hey, congrats on keeping the puppy. Thanks for covering for me. Of course. As your royal guard, it's my job to protect you. Even if it's from your own stepmother. 
So where did the puppy come oh, from? Oh, that's, um, that's kind of a secret. Uh-huh. Well, I'll leave you alone. Wait, if you could just let me out of here for just a few minutes. Princess, you know I can't do that. If the queen caught you outside, she'd... I would be really quick. No, I'm sorry. I have orders. I, I can't. You have to stay in here. This isn't fair. You know what? I bet if I use this magic pen to draw myself outside, I could escape stepmother forever. I knew it. Give me that pen. You give me that magic pen. No, you are so controlling. I am done listening to you. Too bad this pen only works for you. No. <laughs> Let me show you how controlling I can be. You won't ever leave this tower. And this puppy is going away. Take this much, the pound. Please don't. I'll do anything. <laughs> really? Draw me young and beautiful, or else your puppy goes away forever. How's this? My wrinkles are gone. Draw me a crown. When you're done, draw me some more horses and a carriage. Let me see. Good. Now draw me more gold. But I just drew you that, and it's been two hours. But it's been two hours. Does it look like I care? Finally, I have two castles. All right, I guess it's time for a break. Give me that pen. Gregory, can I trust you to keep an eye on her? Yes, your majesty. Good, because if you lie to me one more time, I'll have you taken care of. Brielle, wake up. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Setting you free. I took this from her. Draw her locked away and yourself as the queen. Open this door. Hurry. I'm trying. I drew it. She's... she's gone. We're finally free from the evil queen. Wait, but I'm missing one more thing. Well, now you're queen and you've got your puppy. I think it's time for you to finally leave your tower and go outside. Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. We have to cover this up right now. But why? Because it, um, it makes you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm going to school. Not so fast. Let's see your face. Seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And whose fault is that? Dad, you know today is my birthday, and my friend bought me this cupcake. You have to cover up that mark with concealer. Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work, so you're gonna stay home. Happy birthday to me. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. Girl, you're late. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, your mark. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's the mark of the lost princess. You're the lost princess. What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I am not. I'm being serious. Save it. My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your... This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. <sighs> Time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. Oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> <sighs> and this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, mom. 
Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as... me. I can't believe it! It's you! It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. This is kid life versus adult life. Kid. Oh, I guess I must have fallen asleep watching Spongebob. Oh well. Mom, what's for breakfast? Adult. <laughs> oh, oh, my back. I fell asleep watching Criminal Minds again. Oh, and I slept in my makeup. I'm gonna break out tomorrow. Mm. And I forgot to buy groceries. <laughs> Kid. What time is it? Oh, it's already midnight. No wonder I'm so sleepy. Adult. Oh. Bro, what time is it? Dang, it's only midnight? Okay, next episode. Kid. Mommy, don't get mad. I have to tell you something. Lily peed on the carpet in my room. What? You might want to go clean that up now. Adult. Why would you pee on the carpet? Do you know how much my landlord is going to charge me for that? But you're still so stinking cute. I can't be mad at you. No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> A mermaid. What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying. No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not. It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. So, oh, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They, they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Marlena. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Her future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? <gasps> you were right, she is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay, we got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid and after I saved her, we fell in love. 
She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years, I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future. It changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh. So your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you. But she never wanted you to know. That's right. I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <laughs> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go. Come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad. I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You got to make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. This week is important, kids. Because our scales appeared. Yes, since this is you and your brother's 18th birthday week, we'll finally get to find out how evil you two are. I already know. Mine's going straight to villain. Of course it is, darling. Your last name isn't Menace for nothing. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Mindy Menace, world's greatest supervillain. We got you suits. <gasps> yes! Sweet! I know, but you can't wear them until your birthday. Huh? Why not? You're not a true villain until the scale says so. My suit better be flameproof. Yeah, and mine better handle ice. Mindy, Max, don't worry. They do. Can I get a cape? No, no, no capes. capes. Hey, how'd your scale go up? Oh, I took your credit card when you weren't looking. I hope you don't mind. I got a couple things. Oh. Ow! Ha, huh, that's what you get. Whoa, chill! I've got a plan, and you're gonna want to hear about it. I know a way we can move our scales a lot. I'm listening. See that bank? Yeah. Well, you and I are gonna rob it. Oh, alright. Sounds good to me. And look what I got. Our suits, but Mom and Dad said we're not supposed to. Wear them to. until our birthdays. I know, but we gotta prove to them that we can be real villains. You know what? You're right. Wait, Max, what should our villain names be? Huh, how about I'm Frost and you're Blaze? Okay, not bad, Max. Let's do this. Everybody freaks. Do what he says or else you're gonna get barbecued. Fry the safe. On it. Money, here we come. Whoa, look at all that cash. Not so fast. Careful, he's a super. What's your name? I'm Witherstorm. <laughs> nice. Why do they call you that? Allow me to demonstrate. Looks like Weatherboy can control Mother Nature. Blaze, get him. With pleasure. I don't think so. Ah, <sighs> oh, crap. My powers don't work in this rain. He's all yours, Frost. Don't worry, Blaze. I got him. I suggest you both surrender now before the cops show up. Giving up's not our style. I can't believe we escaped with so much cash. I know, right? Max, how did your scale move? I did something. <laughs> what did you do? I'll show you. Follow me to the lair. Ta-da! You brought the superhero to our house? Yeah, I had my buddies bring him over, and when he wakes up, I'm gonna find out his secret identity. I'm gonna use Dad's gadgets to interrogate him. Max, Dad's gadgets are really dangerous. I don't know if you should use them on him. What? Of course they're dangerous. That's the whole point. Hey! Your scale moved towards Hero. Oh, don't tell me you like him. You like him? I do not. Uh-uh. You think he's cute, don't you? No. As your twin, I can tell you're lying. 
Are you guys going to argue this whole time? What the hell is this place? Your worst nightmare. Max. So, your real name's Max, huh? <sighs> what? That must be my new gadget. Be right back. Why can't I use my powers? Sorry, but that bracelet on your wrist, it's a power dampener. I need you to set me free. And why is that? There's a tornado headed towards my family's house, and I'm the only one with the powers to stop it. Yeah, right. You really think I'm that stupid? I'm serious. Come on. I can see good in you. Please, you have to release me. Where is he? He, he escaped. Your scale. You let him free. I'm telling Mom and Dad. No, Max, wait. Stay there. Wait. Mom, Dad. Our lie detector arrived in the mail. Now tell us, did you set the hero free? No. Scanning. Lie detected. Mindy? I told you. Look, I'm sorry. It was only so he could protect his family. Plus, he promised he would owe me a favor in return. Mindy, that's enough. You are turning into a superhero. She sure has a crush on one. I do not. Listen very carefully. We don't date superheroes in this family. You're gonna get rid of him. Understand? Now remember, if you don't complete the mission, don't come home. I saw you from down the street. You're not here to cause any trouble, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. How do you know my real name? My parents did some digging on you. Enough talk! Ugh. You brought your brother with you? We're kind of a team. Stop! You're better than this! Shut up! My sister is a villain. Okay, Max, that's enough. Why aren't you fighting back? Because I... I don't want to hurt you. Huh, how pathetic. Finish him. No, I won't. You were right, Max. I... I do care about him. What? Ugh, I knew it. You've gone soft. You're almost a superhero. And you're in love with one. Well, who says heroes and villains can't like each other? No, you have to make a choice. Our family or him. Max. I'm serious, Mindy. Pick one. Fine, then I choose him. How dare you! Knock it off. Nah, you're about to become a hero, which makes you my enemy. You want to know why I chose him over this family? Yeah, why? Because he's the only one that's ever been nice to me. Nice? We're a family of villains. We're not nice. You always were the weaker twin. <sighs> you leave her alone, right now! Aw, uh, look who's up. What are you gonna do, huh? Simple. I'm gonna create your biggest weakness. Extreme heat. No, stop! Ugh. Hero. I knew you were a hero, Mindy! Remember when you said you would owe me a favor? Do you think I could stay at your house? My parents will never let me come home now. Of course. My family is going to love you. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But, Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Hi, girly. Oh, hi, girls. Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Is that a Ross tag? This? I just put that on there so people wouldn't steal it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm going to have him make yours public. Mommy, daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Will you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. Oh, boy. What are we going to do? 5% is like... Peasant material. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must. Because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? 
Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or... or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd! How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> uh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble. Oh! Yes, Todd, get them. Oh! Oh! And this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Okay, what do you choose? Uh, I choose snow because I want to be just like mommy. Aw, good choice, honey. Don't you worry. I'll teach you how to use your powers. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. Alicia, meet your new stepmom, Greta. What a pleasure it is to meet- Ah! Oh! My hand! I'm so sorry, I- I didn't mean to. My hand, it's blue! Go to your room. Is she going to be okay? She has frostbite, but it's mild. Are those the gloves I gave you? Good. Keep them on until you can get your powers under control. Darling! She could have killed me. I am so sorry. Her powers, they've been going haywire ever since her mother passed. Well, she is a danger to all of us. She should be locked in that room. No, I couldn't do that to her. Don't you care about me? Greta, of course I do. Then it's settled. She won't ever leave that room. Here's your breakfast, princess. Aw, oh, thank you. <gasps> you took off your gloves? Uh, yeah, just for a second, though. Oh my gosh, uh, stay back. I'm gonna leave the food right here. Wait! Hey, Alicia, can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Because it doesn't seem like anyone else is allowed in here. I'm sorry, but I can't have you hurting people with your powers. I won't. I can control them now. Okay, then. Make a single snowflake. Just one? Uh-huh. Like how your mother used to. See? It's all right. You can't do it. But I can learn. I know you will. But until then, you have to stay in here. Dad, please. Put your gloves back on, all right? I'll be back to check on you later. If no one's even allowed near me, what's the point of wearing these anyways? I have to get out of here. Here's your lunch, princess. <laughs> hey! Guards, stop her! She froze my feet to the floor. Put your gloves back on, princess. So you guys can keep me locked in here? I don't think so. 
Hey! Stop her! I made it. I'm... I'm free. But where will I go? Mom always said that I could create anything that I imagined, so why don't I just make a place for myself to live? Stop it. You got this. It's working. Whoa, I can't believe I made this place. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I just feel like I'm going to get a little bit lonely in here, so maybe I can make myself some sort of a pet. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, I think I'll call you Snowball. Well, well. Greta, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. This is my home now. I think it's time I showed you my little secret. You have powers? Yes, I was a princess after all. Guess which one I chose? Why don't I just show you? You have fire powers? Mm-hmm. And I'm impressed with this place, but I think it could use a little remodeling. Stop! You're melting it! <laughs> exactly. Snowball, run! <gasps> Guards, get her. Yes, Your Majesty. Stay back. I'm... I'm warning you. Come on, work. That's enough. Let's go. Uh, Sit uh, down. Sorry for the restraints, Alicia, but your powers are just out of control. I want to speak to my dad. Oh, Alicia, I'm so sorry. Who wants to break her the news? What happened was all your fault, really. What are you talking about? Well, you see, dear, after you ran away, your father went to go looking for you. I begged him not to, but he wouldn't listen. He hasn't returned since. What? Yes, and I guess with him gone, I'm your guardian now. No, you have to send guards out to go looking for him. No one could survive in that snowstorm, Alicia. And to think this all happened because you ran away. The king is gone because of you. Take her to the dungeon. What if he's still out there, probably freezing to death? Oh, if I could just get my hands out of these things. Oh, it's no use. I'm never going to get out of here. Focus. Focus. Who said that? You know who I am. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. The necklace, it, it must be magic. Mom, please, tell me how to get out of here. Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay. What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Wanna ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You never just any American Girl stuff. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm going to pick red today. Oh, I'm going to fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're going to be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No pomegranate. No pomegranate. No! No, 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 no! No pomegranate! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <coughs> see? You see? <coughs> Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. 
I mean, yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Please, hold my baby. I'll be right back. Ma'am, I... It's been like an hour. Where is your mom? It's freezing out here. I don't think your mom's coming back. Hey, mom. Honey, whose baby is that? Don't freak out, but some lady told me to hold her baby and she never came back. <gasps> How awful. We better call CPS or something. No, no, I, I want to keep her. Honey, are you sure you're ready to take care of a baby? Yeah, you know what? I think I am. <coughs> it's not going to be easy. I know, mom. I'm going to take good care of her. Look, Mom, I'm winning! Oh, honey, how fun! Hang on, I think there's someone at the door. I'll be right back. I... Hi, can I help you? Hi, yes, actually, I believe you're the one I let hold my child, and I'd like her back. I let you hold my baby, and I want her back. Please, hold my baby. Ma'am, I... I'm sorry, do you even hear yourself? It's been seven years. I waited hours for you to come back, and when you didn't, I decided to raise that baby by myself. As far as I'm concerned, she's my kid now. No, that is what you call kidnapping. That is not. It absolutely is. I am calling the police. What's wrong, Mom? Honey, are you happy here with me? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Well, there's no easy way to say this, but I'm not actually your real mom. What are you talking about? So, that's how I became your mom. But now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Honey? Shh. She's sleeping. Sorry. But what did the officer tell you? That I'm supposed to give her back to her biological mom tomorrow. What? That can't be right. I promised her that she could stay with me. Oh, don't you worry. We'll figure this out. Please. I'll get it. Miss Stevens? Yes? I'm here because we have reason to believe someone came to your house pretending to be an officer today. Him and his wife have been taken into custody. Wait, so this means that I can keep her? Your daughter? Yes, absolutely. We actually believe they were trying to kidnap her. Honey, wake up. You don't have to worry anymore. You can stay with me. Really? Yeah, come here. Nobody wants a 17-year-old anyways. Hey. Sissy, hi. Do you want to play dolls with me? Actually, I need to tell you. <clears throat> Susie, there's a family that wants to speak with you. Oh, okay. Today might be your lucky day. Guess what? They want to adopt me, but I think they'll adopt you, too. No, Susie. It's just you. What? No. Listen, it's going to be okay. I'm going to visit you all the time, and I want you to have this. Mom and Dad gave me this when I was little, and now I'm giving it to you. As long as you're wearing it, I can always find you. Sissy, do you promise? I promise. I wish Mommy and Daddy were still here. Me too, Susie, but these people are going to take really good care of you. This just in, a couple accused of identity theft is on the loose. If you recognize these people, we urge you to call the authorities. That looks like the people that adopted. Susie, what does your sister look like? She looks a lot like me. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and she's always wearing pink. Okay, listen, I got my men on it right now. Here, take my card and let me know if you get any more new information. I told Susie that they were good people, but they weren't. How could I let this happen? They seem so nice. Who knows where they're taking her? I want you to have this. Wait, I can know. I gave her that necklace and it can track her. It shows she's headed to New York? And where do you think you're going? To save my sister. Oh, are you insane? You're staying here. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. My mother is responsible for you. If anything happens, she gets in trouble. So come here. Hey! You are not to leave this room. No, wait. 
Officer Blart, I am telling you that I have a tracker on her. You should have told us that earlier. Besides, our sources are showing her in a different location. Well, then your sources are wrong. I am going to New York, Central Park, where my tracker is showing her. No, kid, what? Now I just have to sneak out without my foster mom noticing. Don't worry, Susie. I'm coming. It's showing she's inside that warehouse. My sister is gonna... That's enough talking. We are sick of your voice. Hey. Well, look who it is. You shouldn't have come here, kid. No, you shouldn't have taken my sister. You think one little punch is going to stop me? Mm -hmm. Nobody move. Officer Blood here. Let's see some hands. I tracked your phone, kid. She was right. Susie, are you okay? I'm okay. I knew you would find me because cause you promised. That's right, Susie. I'll always find you. We found a family that wants to adopt both of you. Really? Yes, congratulations. Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. We have to cover this up right now. But why? Because it, um, it makes you look ugly. Stay here. I'm going to go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm going to school. Not so fast. Let's see your face. Seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And whose fault is that? Dad, you know today is my birthday, and my friend bought me this cupcake. You have to cover up that mark with concealer. Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work, so you're gonna stay home. Happy birthday to me. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. Girl, you're late. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, your mark. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's the mark of the lost princess. You're the lost princess. What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I am not. I'm being serious. Save it. My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your... This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. <sighs> Time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. <laughs> oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> <sighs> and this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, ma'am. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as... me. I can't believe it. It's you. It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Aw, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? 
You may not. Remove you gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this gonna go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> for the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. <gasps> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. Ugh. You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses, just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You've got to help me find my soulmate, because I am not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the... Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom? Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> Hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey, what? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom! <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey! Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. <laughs> you know, when I find him, he is so dead. What's he gonna do next, huh? The 70s? Medieval times. What? Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, 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 just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at our school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the? I can't believe this. 
Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... It's you. It's me. I'm your soulmate. I was the one that contacted your mom. So you're the guy who's been picking all these crazy outfits for me? Yeah, and actually, I gotta say, I think this one's my best work yet. <laughs> so you think this is funny? I mean, maybe just a little bit. Oh, that is it, you little jerk. Oh. Jeez. Do you have any idea how much you embarrassed me? I'm sorry, that was never my intention. I'm just really into history. And I thought it might be fun to dress up my soulmate in the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen throughout the eras. Damn it, that's actually kind of sweet. I guess I got a little carried away, but you're rocking all of them. But I'm sorry. Alright, I guess in that case I can forgive you. I think now's the part where you're supposed to kiss me, so I can, you know, stop dressing like this. Oh, uh, well, wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. Wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. Oh my gosh, girl, is this Australian hottie your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. Get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pop is on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. List of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pop is on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. List of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pop is on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. List of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pop is on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. List of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. 
but get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire, I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the night, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. List of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the night, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. A list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the night, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. List of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the night, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. List of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the night, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. List of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the night, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. List of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the night, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. List of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the night, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. List of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now.
Miss the Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Well, me. Oh, this is much better. But if adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire, I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Well, me. Oh, this is much better. But if adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire, I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Well, me. Oh, this is much better. But if adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire, I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Well, me. Oh, this is much better. But if adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire, I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Well, me. Oh, this is much better. But if adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire, I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Well, me. Oh, this is much better. But if adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire, I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Well, me. Oh, this is much better. But if adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire, I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Well, me. Oh, this is much better. But if adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire, I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Miss the Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Well, me. Oh, this is much better.
but been adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire, I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. A list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Blow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Blow me. Oh, this is much better. But get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. Not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of pose on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, yes. people are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. Blow me. Oh, this is much better. But Remember, girls, no using your powers at school. Don't worry, Professor. I'll make sure everything goes fine. I'm so excited for our first day of high school. Yeah, because being stuck in a building for eight hours is going to be so much fun. Everyone, please welcome our new students, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. Um, who picked out your names? <laughs> <laughs> the professor named us. Who? Oh, she means our dad. He's a scientist. Oh, wow, very interesting. What a bunch of freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Way to keep our cover, Bubbles. Sorry. It's okay, Bubbles. So, you three are sisters? Yeah, why? How come you guys look nothing alike? We're all adopted. Yikes, so you're not really sisters then? Of course we are. Of course we are. Ugh, your voice is so annoying. Why don't you say that again? <gasps> what the? I'm telling you, we saw her. Her eyes were red. I think you guys have seen too many scary movies. I agree. Yeah, me have laser eyes. Come on. We're telling the truth. They are freaks. Ladies, that is enough. You two have detention for lying. What? We are so getting you back. Thanks for trying to protect me, Blossom. Of course, nobody bullies my sister. Blossom, do you realize what you've done? Our cover is officially blown. No, it's not. The principal didn't even believe them. But Blossom, look, there's a camera up there. Uh-oh, do you think they could have recorded me using my... powers? Let's hope not. Don't worry, I'll just destroy the camera. Bubbles, no! Don't! What? Now the camera's destroyed. So there was a fire at school today, hmm? You girls wouldn't have anything to do with that now, would you? 